Hello. In this lesson, we will take a look at SOAR. With SOAR being a hot term in the security industry, it's important to not only know what it is, but to be familiar with the problems and challenges that security teams face which SOAR can address. But before we get into all of that, let's get the basics out of the way. What is SOAR? Well, it's an acronym standing for Security Orchestration, Automation, and Response. What that means is that SOAR connects all of the other tools in your security stack together into defined workflows which can be run automatically. In other words, SOAR lets you increase your team's efficiency by automating repetitive manual processes. That automation capability is so important in today's security world because analysts and security teams are overwhelmed. You see, new tools are constantly being developed to adapt to an evolving threat landscape. And as more and more tools are developed and adopted, the analysts using those tools have to do more and more switching back and forth between them in order to accomplish their day-to-day -day tasks. Now, speaking of those day-to-day -day tasks, like responding to alerts, with the increased number of security tools comes an increased number of alerts which must be addressed, usually with a series of manual processes and several of those context switches I just mentioned. More alerts to respond to in a day means less time spent on each alert, which increases the likelihood of mistakes being made. This performance degradation in the face of a flood of alerts is called alert fatigue. One obvious way to mitigate alert fatigue is to simply hire more analysts. The problem there is that thanks to a cybersecurity skills shortage, there simply aren't enough qualified analysts to hire. So if alert fatigue from context switching, manual processes, and having too many tools can't be solved by hiring additional team members, how can they be? Simple, with SOAR. Let's take a look at some of the key capabilities of a SOAR and how they help. I've already mentioned that SOAR ties together the tools already present in your security stack. By pulling data in from all of these sources, SOAR can reduce the amount of context switching that your analysts have to do. All of their usual investigative processes can be done directly from the SOAR's interface. To take it a step further, those processes can be translated into a playbook, which is a flowchart-like set of steps, either manual or automated, which can be repeated on demand. This way, you can make sure that every step in your standard operating procedure is followed and have data on exactly what was done, when, and by whom. In general, this capability is called orchestration and automation. Investigation is another crucial SOAR capability. When an alert appears to be suspicious, teams can perform their investigative tasks, such as checking threat intelligence sources for a reputation or querying a SIM for related events right within the SOAR platform in order to determine what mitigation steps need to be taken. Then, because SOAR is a unified workbench of all your security tools, those mitigation steps can be taken from within SOAR as well. For example, to block traffic from a malicious IP address in your firewall, or delete a phishing email from your email server. By building your standard processes into playbooks, you can start to replace the repetitive, time-consuming parts of the processes with automation that accomplishes the same task at machine speed. By optimizing your process this way, your analysts have more time for in-depth manual investigations. Implementing SOAR into your ecosystem will do more than just centralize your incident response processes. It creates the opportunity to optimize an entire operation. Resulting in streamlined responses at machine speed, teams will be able to better manage the never-ending wave of alerts and collaborate while doing so. This is because SOAR allows users to assign alerts to different analysts or teams at different stages of the response process, and for those assigned users to add information to the alert as they work on it so that others who reference that alert later will have additional context on the investigation. I've already mentioned playbooks once or twice. Let's talk about those. Teams use playbooks, sometimes called workflows, as a way to respond to alerts or incidents the same way every time. Playbooks work in lockstep with security teams by taking the steps an analyst would typically implement when responding to an incident. Playbooks will take care of the repetitive tasks such as compiling data into a report or sending emails, and can pause when human oversight is needed before implementing a firewall block, for instance. Playbooks are the key to SOAR's automation capability, 
allowing teams to improve their response speed and consistency while maintaining human authority over the process. Ultimately, this leads to reduced analyst workload and chance of error. Phishing investigations are one of the most common first use cases that customers implement. Without SOAR, when a user reports a phishing email, an analyst will spend time investigating the sender and any key indicators located within the email headers or body. Usually this means time spent keying domains and URLs into a threat intelligence platform. If they determine that the email is harmful, they will then need to spend additional time in their email server and their SIM determining who received the email, if any recipients clicked on a harmful link, deleting the email, and so on. With a phishing investigation playbook, the initial investigation steps can be taken automatically as soon as the phishing email is reported. This way, the analysts will only be alerted to those emails which the playbook determines are suspicious. Once the analyst confirms that a reported email warrants further action, the playbook can continue, taking care of the additional SIM queries, deleting the email from all user inboxes, and sending an email to all recipients alerting them of the action taken and providing helpful tips on what to do when they receive a similar phishing message in the future. So there you have it, a primer on SOAR. What it is, what problems it addresses, and how it helps. Thank you for your time.